Award-winning columnist Janice Turner visited Taiwan for nearly two weeks last month at the invitation of, tour of the Tourism Bureau. After returning home, she shared her Taiwan experience in UK newspaper The Times. She wrote that despite Xi Jinping's warm ongoing Taiwan did not feel dangerous and was probably the most fascinating place for travelers to be. Let's find out why. With its quaint old town and countless small eateries, Tainan is unmissable for visitors, writes UK award-winning columnist Janice Turner. During her two-week trip around Taiwan, she enjoyed a bowl of tofu pudding here at Amping Street. She wrote in UK newspaper The Times that she could have spent another week in Taiwan's oldest city. In the headline of her piece, Turner referred to Taiwan as Asia's ancient, overlooked and risk-averse island. She believed few Westerners visit Taiwan because of outdated perception of its economy and geopolitics. But that's precisely why British tourists should give Taiwan a chance, she says. Visitors can defend democracy and freedom by eating the world's finest dumplings and explore ancient Chinese culture somewhere that doesn't imprison dissidents. And although described as a living hell for pedestrians by some critics, Turner observed that drivers keep to speed limits and pedestrians don't jaywalk in this absurdly friendly country. In this risk averse society, Turner spotted warning signs that amused her, such as those banning umbrellas on bridges and slippers on escalators. She noted that the Taiwanese are crazy about claw machines, paying little mind to whether they win a prize. During her 12 day stay, Turner visited attractions including Taraka National Park, the National Palace Museum, and the Sun Moon Lake. She also made a point of visiting the National Human Rights Museum in New Taipei. Turner wrote that despite China's warmongering, Taiwan didn't feel dangerous. On the contrary, she said that war is unthinkable, and right now there is no more fascinating place to be.